everybody. This is Kelly Hammonds from Close to My Heart. I am an independent consultant and I'm very excited today to talk to you about our famous, our fabulous, our fantastic, our fun, our fascinating, our fast and easy, our favorite first class fine five star flip flops. Hopefully you've heard of flip flops before. Um, if you haven't, by the end of our 20 minutes, I'm you'll never have to ask up anything about flip flops again because you're going to be experts. So let's get started. Our flip flops are made with the same plastic material that our page protectors are made of. They are a type of page protector in that you can put photos, uh, documents, um, memorabilia, anything that you would add to your scrapbooks or your cards, you can put in our flip flops. So um, they look like a large envelope, as you can see here, but they are a real fine, high quality page protector uh, product. They come in a multiple multitude of sizes. The smallest are our two by two flip flops. I've used these in the past for like baby's first haircut, coins from vacation trips, um, any kind of uh, little memorabilia thing that my children have found while we were on vacation. Great for sand when you've been to the beach. Then we have our three by three size. Again, a nice smaller size um, that you can put any kind of memorabilia or I like to put my little three by three pictures in. Next, we have the three by four. And all of our flip flaps, you get 12 each of the page protectors. And anytime that they're rectangular, like the three by four, you will get um, three, I'm sorry, six that are horizontal, six that are vertical, which we'll look at in a few minutes. These are perfect for, again, three by four pictures, or these will hold gift cards. These will also hold um, the little cards that you get, like when you go to Disney, your little ticket passes. Next, we have our four by fours. I like the four by fours, especially for scrapbooking because I can take a four by six and cut out some of the noise and get more pictures on my page. Then we have the four by six, by far our biggest seller. Okay, again, six that are vertical, six that are horizontal. We'll look at those in a minute. Um, I pulled out of the package already. These are the five by sevens. You can see the five by seven size. Then we have our six by 12, and I'm gonna show you in, in quite a bit of detail, uh, lots of examples of what the six by 12 size is for. Again, there's 12 in each package. And then we have brought back one of our older sizes. This is the eight by 12, perfect for certificates, for brochures. I've actually, um, sh I'm gonna show you how you can put larger pictures in them. So let's take a closer look at our fl flip flaps. I'm gonna start first with a few simple pages. Um, this page has one flip flap on it. As you can see with the adhesive on the one side, we can adhere it right to our page protector and I can put either some sort of title, journaling, or perhaps a photo, and then whatever I would like underneath as well. Here is another example. This is actually the second page for that layout. Here is the four by six, and here is a three by four. This page, I have a nice quote on my page, but underneath I have room for two photos, or I could add some journaling if I wanted to. On this next page, I have a number of the two by twos. If you remember, I said I like the two by twos. I like to put baby's first haircut, coins, any kind of little fun things that my kids find while we're on vacation or in everyday life. But in this instance, I have eight, eight things I want to document on my page. So I've put the numbers on the top and then the little two by two flip flaps. I have room for a photo and either more journaling or maybe um, another photo throughout the whole page. Flip flaps will allow me to add more pictures or more documentation to my page than I might normally have room for. Have you ever had an instance where you've had maybe two or three more photos and you just don't want to make a whole nother layout? So this really helps you put everything into one two page layout. And sometimes I also like to hide my journaling or my daughter likes me to hide my journaling when I'm telling some sort of embarrassing story um, from their childhood. This is a fun one. This one, I have waterfall the three by fours, as you can see here. Next, we're gonna take a look at how do we put the flip flaps right on our scrapbook layouts. I'd like to show you the two different methods that I use to attach flip flaps to my scrapbook pages. One is gonna be directly to the page protector. The other one is gonna be directly to the page and then we're gonna make it so that the flip flap comes out of the page protector so that you're able to flip it up and down. So let's start with the one that I generally teach in classes. This is our flip flap. I'm gonna put it right on this three by three spot. So again, remember when you use the flip flap, it's like a big envelope. You're gonna make sure that when you have it in the flip flap, appropriately, you can feel the bumps on the back of the white, the adhesive strip. So we're going to go ahead and put our pictures in to our flip flap. I'm just using the place uh, photo place holders right here, but we're going to go ahead and take this strip off. And the key for me is to always line up 
paper to paper. So photo to photo, paper to paper, and that's going to make sure that once it's stuck down that it appropriately covers the picture below or the journaling, whatever you have below, and is hidden by the flip flap itself. Now, a lot of people um, love this method. It's fast, it's simple, it's easy. It doesn't matter what kind of page protector you have, what kind of books you're using, you just put it directly on your page protector. But other people prefer not to have this strip show when they are looking in their scrapbook. So the alternative method is to attach it directly to the page and then we're going to cut our page protector and pull the flip flap through so that it flips. So to do that, we're gonna need a hole puncher, um, some sort of um, mat so that we can use our blade to cut our page protector and a pen. I like to use my Sharpie. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our page out of our page protector. Of course, if you're making your page, it's probably not in the page protector yet, but you're gonna start with the naked page. We're gonna take off this photo where the photo would go and we're going to put this photo down in its page protector in the exact spot that this picture would be. So again, feel the bumpy side. We're going to pull this right off and we're going to line up the photo exactly where your photo underneath would be. So I'm just lining it up to the photo below and gluing it down, adhering it down. Okay. Then we're going to take our placeholder or our photo and we're just going to put it back where it was. Okay. So now it is glued down over that flap, okay, over our adhesive flap. So we don't see that as easily as we did on the other side. Now we're going to take this and put it back into our page protector, or if it's for the first time, back into a page protector. Okay, the flat flip flap is still on the inside. We're going to take our Sharpie or our pen and we're going to mark exactly where the corners of the flip flap are. Not the photo, but the flip flap. So put a dot there and a dot on the other side. Hold that up a little bit closer so you can see where I've put the dots. We're going to take our hole punch and we are going to punch holes where we have drawn that dot. And then we're going to do it on the other side as well. It might be a little easier if we take our page out instead of trying to fight with it. You can see our dots a little better. And we're going to punch right where those dots are. You'll have to finagle your hole puncher. Then we're going to go ahead and take our mat and put it underneath and take a ruler. We're going to take our craft knife and we're going to draw a line between the two holes that we've just punched from center to center. Now the reason we've punched the holes is to keep this line that we just cut to keep it from splitting further down our page protector. The last thing you want to do when you've got your page, protect your page protector back into your photo album that to have your page protector slice everywhere. So now we're just going to take that same page and we're going to feed it back in. And this time when we get to the aid the edge of the flip flap I'm just going to feed it right through. and then put the page down in. Okay, so now we have our flip flap on the outside of our page protector and on this photo you don't see the adhesive strip like we did when we put it on top. And so those are the two different methods for adding a page protector to your scrapbook pages. Now that you've seen how we attach the flip flap to either the page protector itself or the actual page and slit the page, I just wanted to show you an extension to what we just showed you, um, what I just showed you when I attach it to the page and slit the page protector. As you can see in this example, when I've waterfalled them, I've actually put the uh, flip flap right on the page and then I have slit my page protector, the 12 by 12 page protector here, 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 and here 
And that allows me, when I put the page back into the large 12 by 12 page protector, I just slide the, page, the flip flap right through that slit. That means at all times, everything, whether it's my journaling or the pictures that I've put under here, everything is protected by a page protector. Likewise, when I made this page, I actually slit the page protector from here to here, just one long slit. And then I just tucked each of those little flip flaps right through the slit when I put the page back in the page protector. You can see here how it is slit. And so everything is still covered by a page protector. This, this documentation here or a picture, everything is covered and protected. Now, as I mentioned before, one of my favorite things about the page protector is I can get many more pictures into a two-page layout than I traditionally would get without the page protectors. Um, sometimes there's pictures that I just really have to have or want on the page, but I just don't want to spend the time or the um, space in my book to add another two-page layout. So this is how I cheat with my page protector. Many of you may notice some of the recognize some of these pages. I this is the the class that I traditionally teach at the expo. I've taught many times in Sacramento, Pomona, um, Anaheim when we were still in Anaheim, and in Mesa, my flip flap class. So you may recognize some of these. So what I have done here is I've added flip flaps to my page. Um, and then this actually, and again, it's hard to see on, on this space that I have to show you, but this all flips out. This one flips open, okay? And then it slides down and I can get more pictures onto my page. Okay, here at the bottom we have another four by six. This is the second page. This one opens left and right. So hopefully you can see here I've added my journaling and underneath it I have the pictures that go with my journaling. Here I've added pictures of friends and my journaling underneath. In this case, I have my family photo and more pictures. Okay, now your flip flaps can go to the side. Okay, this would be one of the horizontal ones. If you remember, I said for the rectangle, rectangular ones, you either have the adhesive on the side, so it would be a horizontal, or we have the adhesive at the top making it a vertical one. And it just depends on how you want to have your flip flaps open on your layout. Okay, this is another one. See, in this case, we go up. This case, we go up. But then on the inside, we'll probably have some that go to the side. We'll see. Yep, this one goes to the side. And this go, This is a side one, and this opens up also to the side. So sometimes it's more of a book orientation or possibly just goes straight up. A second set for this. You can see up, up, up. Can we open it up more up? Just depends on whatever I take out of the package. Now, see this one I've done to the right instead of to the left, so it's kind of a backwards book, the opposite of how we traditionally open our books. This is more of the book, backwards book. And then here at the very bottom, we have to the right, to the left, and in this case, instead of going down, I'm sorry, going up, I went straight down. Okay. This is one of also one of my older classes that I've taught in the past. I do have these kits still available on my website. Um, in fact, now that we're a little bit more in the virtual age, um, I have videos that will help walk you through how to put these together in addition to the written instructions. I do not have all of my older kits, but I have many of them. Just depends on how many sell out by the time this airs. This is, um, flip flaps are one of the biggest sellers for Close to My Heart. And some of you may be seeing, saying, well, I have the Fuse tool. Why wouldn't I just use the Fuse, Fuse tool? Well, the great thing about our flip flaps is they do have the quality page protector, like our 12 by 12 page protectors. So you're getting a quality product. They're also already pre-made, pre-sealed. They're straight. Um, nothing's, you know, jiggy as you're, as you're trying to cut it or make it. And you don't have to pull the tool, tool out to go ahead and add it to your page protector. Now, as I show you, showed you before, you can attach them to any page protector. So no matter what company or what brand you prefer, this is all adaptable to your 12 by 12 layouts. 
This is another very popular one, my Jack layout. Um, I don't always have all the white pieces for where the photos go, but as you can see, as we work our way through the layouts, in many of these, um, I believe that we quote anywhere from 45 to 55 total pages, depending on how many um, actual pictures you want to put in your layouts. Did I say 45 to 55 pages? 45 to 55 pictures into your two-page layout. Um, sometimes They all pretty much come with the PML cards, the Picture My Life cards, so if you prefer, you could use more cards and fewer pictures. So it just depends on how you want to lay out your layouts. Also, when you purchase these kits, if for some reason this larger 5x7 size doesn't work for you, you can easily put in some 3x4s, some 4x4s, or a 4x6. Um, you can make these your own and have them adapt to what you need them to do for you. Okay, so let's look at some of my newer ones. I'm very excited to show you these. This is our uh, Magical Memories layout. This is a paper pack that we uh, had as a special a few months ago, and um, I just love this theme. I know many of us love the theme out there. Something that I've done differently with this one is I have used the black acrylics that complement this paper pack, and I've used them to actually lift up the flip flap. Okay, As an optional activity, if you decide to get this kit, um, you can take the black acrylics, and I actually use uh, heat embossing, silver heat glitter, um, I'm sorry, powder, and I heat emboss the camera. Inside, okay, we've got this one that lifts up. Oh, my little fun's going to go on my photo when I'm ready for it. There's another star. Now, I made this because I know that I have a, a nice big picture. Uh, uh, four of us girls went to Disney last December, and I have a great group photo, so that's what I plan to put here. But if you would prefer to put four by sixes here, you could certainly do that. And then on the second page, again, you can see where I've done some heat embossing. Okay, I dipped it in both the red, or used both the red and the silver powder. And then when it opens, you have room for many more photos. Again, using the black acrylics to actually make little lifts for my flip flaps. Okay, so this is one of the kits that I know that I have in my store at kellyhammonds.com. This is also a brand new one. I love this. This is a very fun girly girl one. Um, we have butterflies on the front. We have a nice 5x7 on the front, some 3x3s. Again, you get a full package of the Picture My Life card. So if for some reason you don't like this title, you can use one of the other cards. If you don't want the date one, you can always use it something different there. If you want 4x6s here at the bottom or 3x4s, you can do that as well. Um, or you can make it just like I did. So let me show you the overall look that we're trying to achieve with the flip flaps. So we start out with the two page layout as it looks in your book. Okay, and you've got a nice theme that goes across there. All right, cover up that next page I'm getting ready to show you. Then when you open it up, you get an entirely different look. You're still within the theme, but when it opens, you still have the look across the entire two page layout. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, I know you're getting the reflection off the page protector, but that is what it looks like when it's open. Okay, so let's put this back into frame. You can see, again, all the nice flip flaps. In this particular case, because the Picture My Life cards were rounded, I went ahead and rounded all of where my photos will go. Okay, this one's got a top 10 list here on the bottom. Nice little celebrate here, you and me, awesome. Again, if you don't like these particular cards, if they don't work for you, you can mix and match them any way you like. Okay. So that's our fun girly girl one. And then I also have a brand new Christmas one using our newest Christmas paper um, in the September, October paper pa uh, supplemental. And so it says Merry and Bright here on the front. Okay, no peeking. It's got fun, fun, fun colors for the holidays, special delivery from the North Pole, a nice place for journaling. Okay. If you don't want to use a lot of flip flaps, you don't have to. If you don't have that many pictures, maybe for the front, or if your pictures better work with the theme on the inside, then we've got our traditional red and green for the holidays. And plenty of room, because at Christmas time you take a lot of photos. I think of Christmas morning, um, we take so many pictures, and I hate to throw anything away my memory may not be the same as my children's memory. So this allows me to get lots of lots of photos 
going in my layout with ha not having to have lots of multiple layouts. Okay, this is fun. Inside we have Santa. Santa's waiting inside here, and hopefully you can see at the top. There's room for the Dear Santa note journaling, and then at his body, we have a wish list, and then at the very bottom, we have this fun no peeking card, and that is our last one I have to show you. I also have more that will be on my website or are is on my website, kellyhammonds.com, that I didn't show you here today, and I do add new ones every, uh, three, about three to four weeks, we add a new one on the website for sale. I do have written instructions, and we will have um, also the videos to help you put them together, and to also teach you how to lay the flip flaps down, how to attach this bigger piece right here, the six by 12, and other helpful tips. Let's take a look at a few more things that you can do with your flip flaps, especially when it gets to cards. You may have done this as a make and take in our booth um, a few years ago. This is our happy birthday card. And inside we have a little flap with a flip flap that opens up with a gift card. We also that same year did the same thing for a graduation card. Open it up. Can Whoops, this one opens to the top. Include a gift card. Before shaker elements became real popular with Close to My Heart, we had to use flip flaps to make shaker cards. This is a Christmas card we made a few years ago, and inside we used a flip flap, uh, put all of our shaker stuff in it, and then used our foam tape to pop it up. Fortunately, now we have shaker elements, but if you don't have uh, any of your shaker elements, you can always use your flip flaps. This is a newer card patterned after something uh, that another maker had make it, made it close to my heart. It's just a fun little card that has the little confetti shaking around, my little thank you card um, made with a 3 by 4 three by four flip flap. And then optional, you can always put a gift card in the back of that if you want, or you could just make it a simple, fun thank you card. I like to use the larger flip flaps for fun. This is my uh, notebook that I use when I go to classes and I've put some, some of the um, sequins in my five by seven flip flap there. Um, when I open it up, I have room to put receipts, nice little place to store my receipts. And then um, I always in the back have a little spot for a little cash. Um, if I'm at one of the conferences or at a workshop, I've got some fast cash for some snacks. And then I usually put um, a credit card, my driver's license, and some if I have some gift cards in here so that I have them nice and handy. I did show you earlier the larger 8x12 flip flap. Um, just as a reminder, some of the ideas here, I have one of the brochures from the cruise. They put the daily um, activity log in your bedroom, and I always like to put them so that we can see them front and back. So I can attach that to one of my pages. The other thing I can do is I can um, add larger photos or you know, a larger one and then two smaller ones. Or if maybe I have a certificate and a picture of my, my child for the accomplishment, you know, whether it's karate or swimming, that works really well. And then finally, I'd like to share with you my mega make and take that we'll be making tomorrow. This is also a flip flap designed project and it's uh, some cardstock, some of our new uh, shimmer trim or yeah, no, I'm sorry, this is actually glitter paper. And then inside we've used a variety of the flip flaps to make a little brag book. So you can see here, we put some of those PML cards and places for your photos, places for some journaling, and the flip flops make a really fun little book. So if you'd like to see more about how we put together this little brag book, or if you'd like to get one for yourself, if you missed the opportunity for the Mega Make and Take for tomorrow, I do have more of these for sale on my website that will go up for sale tomorrow after the Mega Make and Take shows. Our show special for today is the Flip Flap Bundle Special. You'll save 20% when you buy a special bundle of seven packages. It includes the 2x2, the 3x3, the 3x4, the 4x6, the 5x7, and the 6x12, all at a special price, 20% off. Also, I have my Flip Flap Projects available. Those are the 12x12 12 12 pages that I've taught at previous expos and new kits that have been made ever since. I also want to tell you about our new loyalty program. Every time you make a, an online purchase, you will earn 15% product credit to be used on future purchases. You can use that product credit on that next purchase or you can bank it towards something that costs a little bit more. It costs $35 to join and you will immediately earn a $25 product credit. When you join with me at kellyhammonds.com, you will also earn a free paper pack valued at $10, making your net joining cost to be zero. You'll also, when you join with me, you'll earn half price certificates and other free gifts. 
Thank you so much for joining me today to learn more about flip flaps. I hope now you find them as famous, fabulous, fantastic, fun, freeing, fantastic. One of my favorites, first class, fine, and five star product, and that you'll be buying flip flaps to use on all your projects. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to join us tomorrow for the Mega Make and Take and come see my new flip flap mini brag book. Thanks!